One of the unique things about Onshape's multi-part part studio is that you can create a single feature that impacts multiple parts. There are many examples where you might want a single feature to impact multiple parts, so let's take a look. In this example, I've designed a pneumatic cylinder in a single part studio. Now I want to create holes for the tie rods in both end caps. If I select my sketch and choose Extrude, then Remove, you can see the holes in the first part are created. You can see that part's name listed in the merge scope of the extrude command. This means I can choose an in condition like through all, and the command will still only impact the part listed in the merge scope. If I wanted this feature to cut through multiple parts, simply add them to the merge scope. To do this, click in the merge scope, then click on the part that you want to add to the merge scope. You can see this cut is now going through both end caps in this part studio. This is one of the biggest advantages of multi-part modeling. Instead of going back and forth between tabs, taking measurements and entering dimensions, I can create a single feature that cuts both parts because it was all modeled together in the same part studio. But this isn't specific to extrude remove. You can define the merge scope of almost any feature. Extrudes, revolves, sweeps, lofts, and other commands have this ability to define what parts are affected by this feature. Another common example is fillets and chamfers. In Onshape, you can fillet or chamfer several parts with a single feature. Simply select the fillet or chamfer command and select entities to fillet or chamfer. It doesn't matter if they're on the same part or not. The nice thing about this approach is you can change the size of fillets of many parts at once. The last example to give is using the hole feature. In fact, the hole feature has some particularly neat functionality when it comes to multi-part holes. In this example, I have a seal retainer that is bolted to an end cap. I want a counter bore in the seal retainer and a blind hole in the end cap. If these were modeled separately, I would need to create a separate hole in each part, but because they're modeled together in the same part studio, I can use the hole feature to accomplish this. Simply click the hole feature from the toolbar, Select my hole type and size, and click on a point. Then in my merge scope, I will make sure both parts that I want to create a hole in are selected. You can see if I section view, that the hole goes through both parts. The hole feature also has an option for blind in last. As the name implies, this will make it a blind hole in the last part in your merge scope. This becomes really useful in examples like this where I want a counterbore and clearance through one part and a tapped hole in another. So to recap, a single feature in Onshape can impact multiple parts. A feature in Onshape doesn't care if it's applied to one part or many, and you have the flexibility to choose what parts are impacted by your feature.